Hello, this is Dr. Mercola, and I welcome you to another question and answer video update. Today we're going to focus on the question, what do you do if your dentist recommends a root canal? Now this question was actually submitted by two people, a Cynthia Brokers in Adelaide, Australia, and a Dr. Gordon in Chicago. And for asking that question, I'm going to give them a copy, an autographed copy of my book, Total Health, because it is filled with practical, simple, inexpensive lifestyle changes that you can make that helps address the underlying reasons as to why that tooth decayed to the point where it requires a root canal. Now, let me expand on the root canal issue because this is an important area that we see in many of our patients and actually is an, is an important cause of energetic dysfunction that can cause serious disease in many people. So I do not recommend root canals for anyone. And the reason why, and you can expand on some of the, the details on, the, on this page, but basically your tooth, tooth is composed of miles, many miles of very tiny canals. And when the dentist takes out that middle cavity in the, or middle central section of the tooth and seeks to sterilize the tooth, it is physically impossible to sterilize it. So what winds up happening is some bacteria wound up get caught, getting caught in the tooth. And then when it's sealed, these bacteria are then encased in an anaerobic or oxygen-starved environment, in which case these bacteria mutate into forms that they were never designed to be and can actually secrete toxins. And depending on which tooth has the root canal, it can cause quite severe uh, health dysfunctions in the person who has it. So that's why I don't recommend them. So if you don't have a root canal and, you, and your tooth needs to be extracted then because you don't want to keep a dead tooth in your body. There's no other organ in your body that any health professional would ever recommend keeping a dead dead uh, organ in. So the tooth would be is dead and you know it's left in and that's why it potentially causes some of these problems. So the practical alternative then is to simply extract it. Now if you extract it you're left with three options. One is to put a partial in there or a full denture or, or, or upper or lower. Now, that is probably the least expensive and the easiest and the simplest to implement. However, it's not the, the, the most convenient because you're left with a partial uh, either on the upper or the lower, the, and it can be inconvenient. And I actually had a partial for the first tooth that I had removed. But then I think the more well, the, uh, the conventional approach that you want, that many dentists will recommend would be like an implant or a titanium implant. And I do not recommend that because that is a piece of metal that's inserted in your body and that can create these electrical fields, these bioelectrical fields, which can clearly have influence uh, and disturb some very sensitive brain uh, rhythms. So I do not recommend that either. So the best and most elegant solution, however, is clearly the most expensive and can be up to several thousand dollars would be a bridge. And a bridge is simply where they uh, we have a hole in the middle and they uh, actually remove portion of the, the adjacent teeth and put a cap on those and then there's a, uh, and a fake tooth essentially in the middle that covers that space and preserves it because the last thing you want to do is leave an open space in your teeth because eventually the, t the other teeth will shift and that will cause a dysfunction and bite which is associated with lots of difficult different problems. So this is an important issue and clearly most dentists do not, are not aligned with this <clears throat> cavitation theory of a root canal. So the, uh, if, if you are confronted with this, you're clearly going to want to find a dentist who has specific training in biological dentistry. Now, I don't have a specific list for you, but the, the best way that I can recommend that you find one of these specially trained dentists is that you go to your local health food store and ask several people as to what is the best alternative dentist in the area. And then I would actually do that for several stores and, and find a consensus as to who seems to be the best dentist in your area. This is a really helpful trick that I've used many times for many of our patients who come in from out of town and I don't know the local practitioners there. So this is a hopefully a practical tool for uh, a challenge that many of us are exposed to. So and there are additional resources listed on this page if you do require further information.